From smashing foes to shooting magical projectiles, Guild Wars 2 has no lack of hammer types. These are some of the best looking skins in game. We start off with one of the newest weapons set to arrive in the expansion. The Sanctified Hammer is a beautiful set with very intricate design. With a gold and white theme amidst detailed craftings, it resembles a holy war hammer that certainly suits the Guardian class. I think it has a legendary appearance without legendary effects. At 180 astral acclaim from the Wizard's Vault, it is easily obtainable by everyone. Next, we have the Dark Matter Hammer. With a pure black appearance and minor white and dark green effects, this hammer can fit dark themes or contrast well with white styles. Because it does not have a trail, it goes well with classes that already have a lot of effects in their weapon skills, like the Untamed. Also, I use it on my Revenant, because I like the dark theme on that class's skills. Black and white are great neutral colors to apply to one's fashion style because it allows other more vibrant colors to pop like purple, blue, red, etc. I think the Dark Matter Hammer still looks classy, even though it is an older set. The Fox Fire Hammer is another great looking skin. It has canthan blue themes and design with some pink sprinkled into its appearance. The on-draw blue foxfire effects and very visible blue trail goes well with the Catalyst's elemental effects, especially in fire attunement. Because the orange fire and blue trail contrast each other, it becomes very eye-catching. The trail becomes complementary in water and air attunements and looks good in earth too. The Devil Rending Great Axe is also another very attention-grabbing hammer. It is unique in that it is a two-handed axe in the hammer category. Also, between all the red trail and appearance, one can't help but notice this skin from afar. Red is the color of attention after all, and I think Great Axe Hammer will definitely make one outstanding in the crowd. Next up, we have the Juggernaut. Spotting a nice gold and silver theme with quicksilver effects when swung, I must say this first generation legendary hammer still looks good even in 2024. You could see this hammer everywhere when the game first launched 11 years ago. Till date, it is the only weapon that modifies your entire character's appearance with the quicksilver infusion when drawn. This effect looks great, especially in bright areas, as your character's armor becomes very shiny and reflective. The Storm's Eye Hammer is also another newer set to grace the game. It has an electrifying effect when drawn, and the design is also good. The nice thing about this set is that it looks great for its price range. At an average price of 15G from the trading post, I think new players should aim to get the Storm's Eye set, as it is very affordable. The Shimmering Aurora Hammer is also another fantastic set. This hammer is big, shiny, and effect-laden. Simulating the Aurora Lights of the Poles, its effects is everlasting even when stowed. Its green, purple, and black color scheme fits the Revenant well, in my opinion. Even at 125 gold, I think this hammer is well worth the price. This is another non-legendary scheme with a legendary appearance. Next, we have the Soul River Hound Hammer. I think this hammer has a nice design for people into dark theme styles. The three-headed Cerberus will start spitting blue flames when the hammer is drawn. It also has a slight blue trail when swung. It was marketed as a unique hammer skin from the gem store, but is currently out of rotation. we have one of the oldest pair of hammer skins in game. The Entropy and Genesis set. Entropy is the purple hammer which is similar to the cultist hammer in the cliffside fractals. 
Genesis is the golden version. Both of these skins are very cheap and can easily be gotten by new players. Even though they are old, they still look pretty good in the mix of hammers we have today. I would say with the right style, these hammers will shine too. The Retro Forged Hammer is also another nice looking hammer. Obtainable from the Super Adventure Box, this hammer is suited for futuristic designs dealing with technology like the Engineer. It has a constant glitching effect when drawn and a colorful rainbow trail when swung. I think it looks cute on Asuras for its size. This hammer looks kind of small on bigger characters too, so I use it on Asuras. The Alchemist Hammer is another favorite set of mine. It has beautiful appearance with subtly good effects. The brass-colored metal contrasts well with the highly saturated alchemy solution in the glass to produce a gorgeous-looking hammer. The alchemy solution changes from pink to purple to blue, which is a nice analogous color palette. The design of the hammer is also unique in that it is not your typical symmetrical weapon. It is one-sided and bold in its design. It is also probably the best looking weapon in the Alchemist set. Next we have Mjolnir, the granddaddy of lightning hammers. This weapon is as old as the game and was the go-to for many players years ago. Its bright effect speaks for itself as probably one of the most eye-catching weapon in game. It shares the same skin as the Elementalist's Conjure Lightning weapon, so you can try it out and gain yourself. The Thundercrag Hammer belongs to the newest Black Lion weapon set in game currently. The hammer is unique in that it is designed like a halberd and is one of its kind. The half-bright gold, half-dark fire color scheme probably fits warriors the most. Also, the trail effect is one of the more modern styles in the game too. For 35 gold currently in game, I think it is a steal. The Orin's weight is the Generation 3 Legendary Hammer in Guild Wars 2. The different variants all look great like Mordremoth's, but I think the vanilla version is probably the best looking shiny hammer in game currently. If you are looking to alter your hammer projectiles and have other outstanding effects, you can't go wrong with this set. All right, as usual, we end with some honorable mentions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.
Thank you. 